and welcome you to this uh, first, uh, let's say, seminar uh, webinar for 2022. Uh, after the successful submission of the first uh, uh, mandate for the main statements with uh, Iris Carbon, now we are uh, starting to be to getting ready for the second uh, requirement, which is the block tagging of the nodes. Uh, this is the subject of today's uh, presentation and uh, together with uh, the team from uh, Iris, uh, Anushri, Niha and Swap, uh, we will show you how this uh, block tagging will be um, handled and uh, how we will proceed uh, this year with the block tagging of all the nodes. Uh, again, you can see our uh, team, uh, Swapnil, which is the regional director, Anushri is the XPRL expert, and uh, Niha, also the XPRL and uh, engagement manager uh, for Iris Carbon. We will uh, guide you uh, through the tool, and uh, we will show you the whole process of uh, the block tagging. Uh, it's a successful collaboration of CMS with uh, Iris Carbon, and we hope that uh, we will continue this uh, successful uh, collaboration to deliver to you the best uh, product as we did uh, last year. And uh, we will be always on, on your side for whatever uh, help you will need regarding the IXPRL. So uh, enough from my side. Uh, I want to pass, the, uh, pass this to Swap, uh, make some introduction for the Iris Carbon and the new tool and we continue the presentation. So I'll mail to you. Sure, do you want it to just go through this slide, Stavros? You can you can move on. So just the presentation for our CMS, the, the customers are already, most of them for years customers with CMS, they know us, we have a very good relationship and uh, our aim is to keep this good relationship and, and, and help our customers to uh, deliver whatever they have on time. Perfect. So once again, uh, thank you, Stavros and Team CMS, and a very good morning to Cypress. Uh, my name is Swap. Uh, as you could see, I'm just going to uh, get you through some of the slides over here about Iris. And then we have a flow for this webinar. We'll also introduce you to the agenda very shortly. Now, as everyone knows, uh, we are like world's leading XBRL solution provider. That's what everyone calls us. That could be because of the sheer numbers what we have, for an example, like thousands of customers across the globe, millions of filing done for like, you know, many a years. But who we are is like we are a rec tech firm. That's what we call ourselves, which stands for regulatory technology firm. Because in the XBRL, XBRL space, we have solutions and the services for both sides of this uh, XBRL, IXBRL. For an example, one side you would have regulators, which includes central, uh, central banks, securities commissions, stock exchanges, as well as on the other side, we would have filer. For an example, you know, uh, all those companies which are listed on the respective stock exchanges and because of the ESF mandate, they are, uh, you know, uh, complying to the ESF mandate and submitting their annual report in the IXBRL or XHTML format. Along with that, you can see on the screen, uh, we have like deep domain expertise. Like we are there for like donkeys of years now. It's like 18 plus years. And if you'd ask us like, what do we do? So it's a simple answer, XPRL, IXPRL. We are like quite focused into this area. And, you know, number speaks a lot. If you see on that same slide again, you can see, you know, 50% of the Cypress issuers who have submitted their filing they are using iris carbon uh, it's a big number itself and you know uh, you can see across european union as well like uh, more than 250 filers are already there along with that we have like enduring deep relationships whether it is a accounting firm or whether it's a central bank or whether it's like you know it or a consolidation firm they are like working with us for more than a decade now and we are also a uh, member of XPRL International. Moving to the next slide, you can see over here that we are a global player. We have our presence in like 43 plus countries. Though we are headquartered out of India, we have our 
um, partner offices in Italy. We have our office in USA as well as in Singapore. And now in uh, in the form of CMS, we know we have our presence in Cyprus as well as Greece, by the way. Quickly moving to the next slide. Uh, as I was mentioning, like 50% of the Cyprus filers, they are using our solution. Uh, you can see most of the selected logos over here. Obviously, I couldn't have accommodated all of the logos over here, but you can find some similar logos. And, you know, uh, I would say like, you know, uh, some of the logos which you know in Cyprus industry. And why they chose to work with us, uh, the the most important reason is quality. We are known for our XBRL quality for like years. Now, this is one of a independent survey uh, done by an independent evaluated based out of USA. You can see that quarter after quarter, year after year, for last like 10 quarters, we are ranking number one in terms of XBRL quality. And you know, that's what we are. And that's why companies uh, chose to work with us. Quickly moving to the next slide. Uh, obviously, owing to that, we have a lot of testimonials, a lot of customers who are openly speaking about us, a lot of the customers, they know how our support is really strong, positive, and you know, the way they have helped us. So you can see a lot of testimonials. Again, a couple of them, which again are from Cyprus, uh, but you can see that some happy uh, feedback and testimonials over here. Now, with this, uh, let me quickly introduce you to the agenda. Um, the agenda today is obviously text block tagging. So we are going to give you a brief introduction of the phase two mandate. After that, we'll approach, uh, like we'll, we'll share how you can approach towards the text block tagging. Along with that, we are going to walk you through IDIS Carbon because we have done text block tagging using IDIS Carbon for our customers. We are going to show it uh, via a demo, a live demo today. And after that, uh, because um, this is not relatively, uh, this is a relatively new text block tagging to everyone. However, as you know, a uh, lot of vendors across the globe, they are kind of struggling to get hold of text block tagging while Iris Carbon has done it successfully. How we can show it via a couple of examples later on uh, of, you know, text block tagging. Now I'll quickly hand it over to somebody who most of uh, the attendees who are there on this webinar know uh, it's Neha as well as Anushri. First, I'll hand it over to Neha, who's going to walk us through the next uh, portion of this webinar. Thank you, Neha. Over to you. Thank you, Swap. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Neha here. I am the Customer Engagement Manager in Iris Business Services. And I have over 11 plus years of experience in XPRL and IXPRL space. So you have, if you have any doubts or questions about the XPRL or about the mandate, free feel to call me or mail me on my email ID. Uh, before going forward, let me congratulate to you all that for the first ESF successful ESF filings. So uh, now let's see what phase two mandate says. As we all know that the mandate has been divided into two phases. First is that you have to tag all the primary financial statements. And in the phase two of the mandate, we have to tag all the notes of their annual financial report. So basically, we know we call the, the tagging the notes we call as block tagging of notes. Phase two is applicable from 1st January 2022. And in phase two of the mandate, every notes within the annual financial statements will be block tagged along with uh, tagging the XPRL tag in it. User will be able to view the tags and once you click on the notes within the annual financial statements, you would be able to see the properties as well. Next slide, Anishri. Yeah. So this is an example of block tagging of notes. So where you will find that the note which is highlighted in yellow so this means that this note is block tagged so if you click on the note here you would be able to see the properties for the same like the label the xbrl tag and the latest period which has been assigned so uh, next slide anushree 
Okay. So now we will see what ECF reporting manual says about the block tagging. Uh, manual says that every node is recommended to have a XPRL tag associated with it. In general, there are 480 text block elements in ECF taxonomy, which has been categorized into certain sections, which we are going to see in the next slide. Out of the 480 text block elements, 32 text block elements has been categorized under residuary section. As per the manual, there is no obligation to create an extension if specific element is not available in the ISMA taxonomy. But ISMA recommends to create an extension since this information is useful for the end users, that, that is the investors and the analytics. Also, the manual says that uh, there is no obligation to create an anchoring for the extended elements. But still, ESMA encourages to create the anchoring to maintain the consistencies between the reporting period to the maximum possible extent. You can see the further details in the link, which is, uh, which is www.esma.europa.eu. And also the guidance is expected on block tagging from ESMA, which has been recently discussed in the European conference held in Paris. So we are waiting for the guidance, which are still expected. Yeah, next slide. Yeah. So now we will see an overview of ESIF taxonomy for text block tagging. So this is the latest 2021 taxonomy, ESMA taxonomy. So where you will see that the concept has been divided into certain sections and these sections we call as extended link rows. So here you see the section uh, 000, 000. This is basically for the text blocks and the string elements. String elements are not newer to you all as these elements are the mandatory tag requirements. If you go down further, so you will see uh, the link uh, 800500 and 800600. So these are basically text block elements for notes and accounting policies. Going further down, if you see, we have a details of notes to primary statements. For example, you are tagging business combination note. So if you see the, if you see the role, 817000. So you in that role, you will be able to find all the elements related to business combination. This will make this will make you to search the element more easily. So next slide. Yeah. Now we will be seeing quickly see a very quick high level of overview of our platform here. And now I'm going to share my screen. Is my screen visible? Yes, Neha. Okay. Yes, so this is our Iris Carbon platform, and this is our company dashboard, wherein you can see the company with name, which is Demo Company, and I have already set up a document for today's block tagging demo purpose. So we are going to land on the document now, and. This uh, Iris Carbon platform is compatible with Chrome, Chromium, and Edge browser. And you can use any type of file as a source file. You can use PDF, Word, Excel, HTML as your source file. And now we are landing on our document. OK. So we are going to see our document now. Yeah. So on my left hand side, you will see a section manager. So here what we have done, we have divided the document into certain sections to make the platform multi-user and collaborative. For example, I'm working, I'm tagging the this section that is notes to the financial statements. My colleague can go ahead and tag further sections. This makes the platform collaborative and multi-user. 
So before start tagging, I have to lock the section. So right now you can see that this section is locked as it's saying that is assigned to me. So now I'm ready for the block tagging. So you can see here that the note one is differently highlighted. This means that this note is XPRL tagged. So the general idea here is you have to review each and every elements with its properties tagged correctly or not. So before going uh, ahead, we will see how we have tagged the notes here, how we block tag the notes. So I have taken note two as for block tagging purpose for the today's demo. So I have purposefully taken this note because you can see this note that is basis of presentation is running over few pages. So we will see how to tag the notes which are running through few pages. So uh, to start tagging, first of all, we have to make sure that the glossy marking is on. For that, I will right click, I will do the right click and on auto tag, I will see an option called glossy marking. And now it says that the glossy HTML marking is on. Then I have to select the specific notes which I have to block tag. So for that, I will select the areas which needs to be block tag. And on my right click, I will do mark selection and mark paragraph. Similarly, for other pair, the, the note in other pages as well, I will do the same process. Mark selection, mark paragraph. And for the other, for the note on page number 32, mark selection, mark paragraph. And for rest of the note, which is in the next page, which is not on the full page, I will do the same process. Mark selection, mark paragraph. Now, I will select the note as per its ordering. So you can see that the highlights is going getting changed. It is now blue highlight. This means that this note is selected for tagging now. The next step is I have to select the appropriate tag from the SMAR taxonomy. For that, in XPRL menu, I will click on reference taxonomy and a different window will get open. So this is the latest 2021 SMR taxonomy, which is incorporated in the platform. This means that you do not have to go anywhere else to search the elements. Here, all 23 EU languages has been incorporated as the reporting language of the uh, report is in Greek language. That's why you would be able to see the taxonomy in Greek language. And if you want to switch, switch the language, you can easily switch the languages. So right now I'm switching to English language now. So here the language is getting switched. And you would be able to view the taxonomy in English language now. So uh, as I said in the explain in the slides that the elements are divided into certain sections. So we have a section 000, 000 and if I open it, you will be able to see the string elements and the text block elements. As I said, string elements are not newer, newer to all as these elements are the mandatory tag requirements. So if I click on the properties of the string elements, there you would be able to see the element and the data type string item type. So this makes the element a string element. But this string elements are basically to tag the, that tag the particular section from a node, not the whole section. To tag the whole node, we have to select the text block elements. So if I open this properties of the text block elements, so you always remember for text block elements, the element should element name should end with the name explanatory. So here you can see the element is disclosure of accounting judgments and estimates explanatory. And the data type should be text block item type. So we are we, we are going to use these text block elements for the block tagging. 
going down, going ahead, if you can see here, we have 800500 and 800600. This is a list of nodes. All the this is a list of all the text block elements here. You will get under one role, and you this is a list of accounting policies here. You will get in under one role. So uh, the accounting policies names will always start with description of accounting policy form. Going down again, you will see the all the details of the financial statements. These are the details. So if you see this eight one seven triple zero business combination note, if I open it, you will see all the elements which are related to business combination. So this is how this taxonomy has been segregated. So ESMA has not restricted us to use element from anywhere from the taxonomy. We, can, we are allowed to use elements from anywhere from the taxonomy. So now I will search the appropriate element from this search box by typing the keywords. Now the keywords can be a basis of present preparation or presentation. Let me see what comes. So we have some elements which has basis of preparation in its name. So if I want to tag my element, I find my element. So this is the element which I need to tag against the note two. This is disclosure of basis of preparation of financial statements explanatory. So if I click on it, it will take me to the exact location. So from this reference taxonomy, now I have to copy and paste the element in the company taxonomy as per the mandate. So if I click on the company taxonomy here from the XPRL menu, you will again get a separate window, which is company taxonomy. And here you will be able to see the mandatory tax and the financial statements. And this is the link extended link role for notes to financial statements. So you, if you open it, you will be able to see the element, which is already tagged for note one. And now I will simply copy the element from the reference taxonomy and paste it on the root element. So I'll say paste as element. So you see the element get pasted here. So I will say save now. Now the, the process is makes it's very simple here. I will just select the element. The note is already selected. I will select the latest period, which is 31st December 2021. And I will say tag. And this note will get tagged. You see, this highlight is now yellow, which is similar to note number one. So now the note gets is tagged here. The only thing which is there is to change the label name. So this is the standard label. So this standard label may or may, may be different from your notes heading. So for that, I have to assign a preferred label. So on my right click, if I click on properties here, I will be creating a label, which is the heading of my note. So let me copy the note heading. I will paste it here. I will assign the preferred label with the terse label and I will say save. So now the preferred label is created and I need to assign. So for that, we have an option called set preferred label roles. I will click on it and I will assign the terse label and I will say, okay. And once saved, and I will refresh the taxonomy and you would be able to see the element and its label. So this is how we would be tagging the block tagging. The process is very simple. So now we will see how to review the block tagging. So the uh, process is as similar as we do for reviewing the financial statements. On the review menu, we go to XPRL review pane. And if you click on the note, you would be able to see the uh, element, its properties, and the period which has been assigned. So if we see the note number two, you can see the element, it properties, and the period. And once you are okay with it, you can take the appropriate action against the elements. 
Now, we also have an inline XPRL previewer which comes with the this platform. So here you would be able to see the inline view of the document. Here you can see that you do not have to compromise on any other aspect of the filing. The filing width would look as similar as your PDF. And if you scroll down, you will be able to see your XPRL tags. So this is the financial statements and these highlights, the yellow highlights is for positive number and the red highlights are for negative number. So this means that this statement is XPRL tagged. And if I scroll down, so this notes highlight also says that this note is XPRL tag. And if I click on any of the note here in the properties menu, we'll be able to see the labels. If I view the labels here, all the labels which has been assigned, that is standard label in English language, standard label in Greek language, preferred label and the documentation with the XPRL tag. So this is basically a extended and extended element. And the value that is the note, which is which uh, which is XPRL tag, the period and also the anchoring as well. So this from this as well, you can review the block tagging of notes. So this is all about the block tagging and the review part. So now I'm handing over this session to Anushri. Anushri, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Neha, for this wonderful explanation about the block tagging. I am very sure that it will be extremely useful for the phase two of the mandate and everyone is now benefited with the uh, advanced knowledge about the block tagging. Uh, we don't have to worry about the block tagging. It is very simple and that's why there are a few early words like Basware and Adifika who have gone ahead and they did the block tagging for their 2021 uh, report. So I'll be taking you through the beaver just to show you that they have published it on their company's web website. So just a second. Here is the XBRL beaver for Basware. So Basware is a company in Finland, you can see. And this is the note tagging, which they have done. The moment we select a particular note, the properties are visible in the property panel. And the same is with the, the company. And here also, the moment I click on any of the notes, uh, the property panel opens up and you can see the properties. One most important thing, there might be a question from your side. The mandatory tags also come in the part of the notes to accounts, how to deal with this. So the mandatory tagging will be done previously. And after the mandatory tagging of the elements, the block tagging of the notes will be taken over. So although you can see that there are overlapping highlights, you don't have to worry each of the tags are retained. Each of the information is appropriately displayed and reflected in your XPRL and IXPRL documents. Any queries so far? We have, but uh, if you are fine, we can take it uh, at the end of the session. Sure, no problem. Perfect. So here is just one more update. So this was all about the um, block tagging the phase two of the mandate, but there are a few things which are coming up really at a very rapid speed. And there is a lot of buzz about all these things and which is known as ESG and ESG reporting. Yes, I'm very proud to uh, mention that Iris Carbon uh, is ready with the ESG reporting and we are currently doing our pilot run with the SASB taxonomy for Gap Inc, a company from USA. So here we are doing the uh, entire tagging based upon the SASB taxonomy. You can see the details of the same. Yes, the taxonomy is released and it is available. We are doing the pilot for one company. And if you see the tags, these are a little bit different. I would like to draw your attention to uh, mention the benefits. If you go ahead with Iris Carbon for the ESG reporting, the reporting and your lovely PDF looking pretty looking PDF will stay as it is. So you have the one stop solution for all of your ESF requirements along with CMS. 
We support the multiple financial and ESG reporting taxonomies. This is a future-proof solution supporting the feature and the taxonomy updates. If at all there are any updates in the taxonomy, these are automatically updated on the portal. You do not have to run any patch at your side. We take care of all your requirements. Yes, we have the consistent high XBRL tagging and the solution providing quality across the jurisdiction. And the platform is SOC2, ISAE 3000, and 3402 Auditor Platform. So this is your one-stop solution for all of your uh, XPR and I XPR requirements, not only for the phase two, but also for the coming ESG reporting. That's all from my side. Thank you. This is Anushri, and uh, I will be taking the question and answers now. Thank you, Anushri. Thank you, Niha, for the... Uh, important information you gave us. Uh, so we can proceed. If any of the participants wants to make a question, they can write it on the chat so we can reply to any questions or queries you may have regarding both subjects that uh, uh, Nikha and Anushri uh, presented. Uh, I think, uh, Swap, you have the control of the chat so you can uh, monitor it and give us the questions. So can be answered. Sure. By the sure. So uh, during the webinar, we had some queries. I'll take them one by one. In the meanwhile, other participants, uh, please do not hold back with your queries. You know, uh, just type it out there in the chat window. So Neha and Anushri, the first query we had is: If a concept is not available for text block, can we extend the same? Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah. Did you hear me? No, no, I couldn't. Yeah, please. OK. There's a query. Uh, if a concept is not available for text block, can we extend the same? Yes. Uh, we have a explanatory and a detailed discussion about this with the working group, um, XPRL Europe. And we got to know that even for the block tagging, if a concept is not available in the taxonomy, you can definitely go ahead and go for the custom element, that is the extension, and the anchoring also is required to be done for such extension. So the generic rules, what we follow for the anchoring, this will be applicable for the block tagging as well. We have to extend it and we have to anchor it. Perfect. Okay, I could see one more query. Uh, how the changes in the notes will be dealt with after the block tagging? Okay, so if a block tagging is done and if there are any changes in the particular note, uh, we have the solution. So we replace the particular page and retain the tagging. You do not have to retag the entire report. You do not have to retag the entire thing again. We can simply replace the page and retain the tagging. So the platform is foolproof. You do not have to you know, bring in the entire new report with the upload procedure and go ahead with the 360 degree uh, process. This is just a very quick procedure, just one page replace and retain the tagging. Wonderful. Thank you, Anushri. Thank okay, you, since there's a query from an auditor as well. So there's a query, uh, would there be any additional responsibility for an auditor to review or audit the text block tags. Yes. 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 Um, thank you for this wonderful question. And it is really very helpful. Yes, from the auditor's perspective, this is an addition, uh, additional requirement. You can say auditors will have to go through and review the block tagged uh, data also, which means the notes which are block tagged. Uh, this requires to be reviewed from the auditor's perspective as well. So just like whatever comments we had for the financial statements, the auditor's opinion, the opinion now will have to be extended for the notes to accounts as well. So because the notes to accounts also forms a part of your financial statements, the opinion will have to be a conclusive one uh, referring to both the areas. Perfect. Thanks again. Okay, yeah. Here, we have one more query. Uh, is the formatting going to affect after the block tagging? Neha, you want to take that? Yes, Anushri. 
So uh, you so you do not have to worry about the formatting because we are just block tagging the notes. It's just a tag which we are applying in the note notes, and the formatting will remain as it is. So yes, you do not have to worry about the formatting part. Again, thank you. Thank you, Neha. OK, I guess all the queries what we had on the chat window are addressed. However, we can still give a couple of minutes more. Stavros, right? Uh, you are on mute. Yes, uh, yes, we can give some uh, minutes to the rest of the participants if they, want, if they want to ask something additional or if they want to clarify something. They are free to uh, send us a question or uh, unmute their microphone and, and tell us the question they have. Perfect. Great. Also, thanks, Neha and Anushri, uh, because you have just mentioned that Iris Carbon is, uh, you know, ESG ready. That's really important topic as well. Thank you. OK. So if you have any query, you can ask us okay. uh, right now because we have the experts who can answer your queries. Apart from this, you have you know a CMS contact detail. You know Stauros very well. Yes. Christina, Kikis, you can reach out to anybody. You can just make them a call or drop us an email. We'd be more than happy to address your queries. Also, if uh, you would like to know more about uh, text block tagging or even how you wanted to go about the ESG reporting, uh, we are ready, okay? Uh, we'll be there to help you out. And again, your first point of contact uh, is Stauros, Kekes, and Christina, that is the Team CMS. Also, I want to mention that this, rec this is recorded. The session today is recorded for and will be available for everybody that wants to uh, watch it again on their own time. Okay, if we don't have any questions, I think we can uh, close the, the session. Uh, again, uh, as Swap told you, if you have any queries, if you if something comes up in later stage, you can send us an email and uh, we will uh, reply to you immediately with the answer to any question you might have in any of the subjects we discussed today. Thank you very much, uh, all, for your participation. Special thanks to the team, Swap, Niha, and Anushri, for all the uh, wonderful things that you uh, share with us today. And uh, I'm, I'm really positive that uh, this year will uh, will go smooth as last year, and we'll deliver the the requirements uh, on time for our clients. Absolutely. Thank you very much, all. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.